Okay, I think we're live. <laughs> let me just check here. Uh, if you could type in the chat and let me know if you can see me or hear me. So we are today we're going to be talking about, so just waiting for someone to say hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Just waiting for the tech. Somebody type in and say hello. Okay, I think you can see me. Ah, oh, sorry to waste the beginning of this. Okay, we're we're live. All right, so hey, this is Cami McBride here, and okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> um, we're going to talk today about five minute herbal oiling techniques to help with stress, anxiety, tension, irritability, all the things that you might be experiencing at for at least some part of your day. So I just came back from town, which we haven't been going into town that much. And it's just like, people are trying to be nice, but you can tell it's like the stress is just right there, right? And when we get locked into that sympathetic stress, I mean, just seeing the mask kind of triggers an unconscious stress response, right? So it's, it's just really easy to just go down that road or just tap into like one minute of the news and you're just like, wow. So we really have to kind of up our game, um, how we stay centered, how we come back to our body. Um, is anybody else, ex so let me know, is anybody else experiencing a little bit more stress than normal or more co stress contact points during the day? Um, you know, <laughs> I've put a limit on my husband for how much he can tell me what's on the news. I'm like, no, I don't want to hear the news right now. So, <clears throat> so yeah, we've got to just, work on how is it that we get more grounded and so there's a lot we can do with oils and herbal oils and I'm going to show you one technique right now and um, the thing is is that Ayurveda offers us a lot of herbal oiling different herbal oiling techniques that are really powerful that have not made it kind of into the mainstream you know it's kind of like elderberry 10 years ago nobody really heard of it or golden milk nobody really heard of that 10 years ago like um let's see like oil pooling that's become a little bit more popular that's an ayurvedic technique and so that's one of the oil techniques that comes to us from ayurveda that's gaining popularity but there are there are dozens more and um again especially with all this this chaos um this uncertainty, these self-care techniques can be really, really, really helpful. Okay, I think we're still live. Looks like things, okay. Um, so the thing is, is that I started massage school and herb school at the same time in 1986. So my herbal, my approach to herbalism is very topical. It's very body, you know, put it on your body kind of thing. I started making the herbal oils right away. And then all the other massage ther therapists were like, what are you doing? And so I started teaching um, herbal oil making to all the other massage therapists. And so, so it's really been... Um, big part of my life and okay so the thing is what we're going to do is we're going to actually work with the nerves in this way so the nerve endings um hey marty hey andrea hi hey michelle um your nerve endings end in your face your ears and your feet so have you ever seen those reflexology charts that show the whole body on your feet your hands so your face uh, on into your ears, uh, your hands and your feet. Have you ever seen reflexology charts that show the whole body on the feet or the hands or in the ears? Well, that stuff is really powerful. And so you can access the, the nerves, your entire nervous system through your hands, through your feet, through your ears. Today, we're going to work with a spot on the ears that some of you will be like, yeah, Danielle, right? <laughs> some of you be like, oh, that's kind of cool. That helped me a little bit. But within two weeks, there will be some of you watching that this technique will change your life. So I've been helping people. I've been teaching this technique for 20 something years. And some people are like, eh, you know, everybody's got a different way in. Right. Some people like their feet rubs. Some people like, you know, head rubs. But for some people, this spot on the ears is like the ticket. <laughs> it's like it's like it just so helps them ground and that's what we really need right now I got to open the window it's so hot is grounding you know the chaos that's happening right now is it's vata it's a there's so much vata in the culture right now vata is like air wind change things blowing 
you know, the, just the information that's blowing by, the, all the thoughts. It's very, very vata. And the air, vata and air is, is awesome. It's where we get innovation and ideas and growth and change and, you know, <laughs> but too much of it, it drives you crazy. Like if you ever get caught out in the wind and you just like, you start to get really irritable and run down and kind of, um, just like thin skin that's what's happening we're swimming in this kind of a lot of air and um, vata energy and it's it's wearing our nervous system down so so here this is so simple I learned this from Dr. Vasant Lad when I was studying with him it's called earlobe pull and you hold your earlobes and you can access your nervous system through your earlobes. Now you can just hold them, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use oil, okay? So, um, hey Cassie. Uh, so you can, you can just use any kind of oil. You can use coconut oil or olive oil or whatever kind of oil you have. But if you know me, <laughs> let's see, I have St. John's Wort oil, I have a trauma oil blend, I have a calendula, I have a rose petal oil, lavender oil. Which one am I going to use? Hmm. I think I'm going to use this trauma blend right here. Actually, I'm going to use St. John's Wort. So this beautiful, can you see this color? This is an incredible oil for calming the nerves, relaxing the nervous system, regen nerve, regener nerve regenerative oil. So and I put it in little jars with a pump and you just put a couple little drops on your hands, rub it like that. Take out our earrings first. I would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take out your earrings, Danielle. Depends on how big your earrings are, but, and then you just rub the oil and you can not only rub the oil on your lobes, but all this lymph around here too is really, it's good to just kind of get that. And especially at nighttime, if you are the kind of person that it's like, um, you, you know, everything's in your head and you can't stop and your ears, some people are more sensitive. I have really sensitive ears. So this technique is amazing for me. Um, but you just get your oil and you can rub the oil, you know, kind of just all around your ears. But this particular technique is about your ear pull and oiling and just holding your ears, right? And you just hold them and kind of get a little grounded, make sure they're oiled up. This may seem like, oh my God, what is she doing? Yeah. And you just take like five minutes you know, or one minute or two minutes, and you just bring your attention to your earlobes. Earlobes are so amazing. Everybody's ear, I've worked, in my massage practice, I've worked on thousands of bodies using these oils. Every earlobe is different. <laughs> so you just hold your earlobes and you breathe. So I'm gonna take three deep breaths. Are you holding your earlobes? Hold your earlobes. If you've got some oil, great. If you don't, just hold your earlobes. You can hold them like this too. So we're gonna breathe in to the count of four. Hold it for a second and then breathe out to the count of eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, two, three, four, take a breath. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold your breath. Oh, okay, I can start to feel it. I'm a little bit more amped up because of going into town. It was just, it was like, we have to wear a mask. Oh, don't stand so close to me. Nobody's looking at each other. Okay, it's time to you just hold your earlobes and you kind of pull down on them a little bit. You just kind of pull on them slightly. And have you ever seen taught? You'll notice toddlers do this. Like children will just like hold their ears. They're they're self-regulating. They're self 
you know, their self, they're rechecking their nervous system. It's a calming, it's a way to calm and check. Just hold. You know, change is challenging. We're going through change. It's, you know, everything is changing. Um, and so we've got to have these simple grounding techniques. So how does that feel for you? Anybody? Five minutes. And if you can, um, especially it's really good before bed, if you're really amped up and your energy's in your head, it's very grounding, kind of pulls the energy down. So again, I, um, Dr. Lad Vasant Lad, when I studied Ayurveda with him many years ago, he taught me that technique. And and some people, it just is so, um, it's so good. And, and we are, writing the unknown is an art. We're, there's a lot of unknowns right now. It's like all the teachers, what all the teachers are dealing with. There's, it's, yeah, it's a lot. So if I were you, I'd, I'd pull out your herbal oils and start doing foot rubs with your family. There's a lot of things that we can do for ourselves, right? So we do foot rubs. We, we get out the lavender oil in the evening. And I have, I have herbal oils in my living room all the time so that they're just there. And we, we do head rubs and foot rubs and it's just part of our family culture. And what's amazing is, you know, you want to, if, especially if you have kids, you want to give them this. You want to have self-oiling and massage as part of your household culture because the thing is, is that what's what's the baseline? What do they go to when they, they need to de-stress? You've got to set up this, this default like, oh, we do foot rubs. Oh, we do head rubs. Oh, we, we rub our hands, you know? So I wasn't taught anything about anything about anything about self-care. It was like, you know, put on deodorant and trim your hair, <laughs> right? Like nothing. And so for me, learning self-care and taking the time to do self-care, it is not a default way of being. It's it's something that I do because I've learned it. And for me, though, having the oils to do it with has really like there's so much beauty and joy and um, unctuousness and um, delight in the oil that it's like that gets me to do it. Right. It's it does. It's not my default self care self. It's something I've really had to learn over the years. Um, especially being a mom, it's like, oh, I should be cooking dinner. Oh, I should be taking care of that. I mean, does anybody ever have that where you're like, oh, I'm going to do some self-care. Oh, well, I should have done this. Or I should have done that. Or my kids need this. Or I should have cooked this a little bit better, right? Um, and so I, I've, I've re I really deal with that a lot because I really was not taught anything about paying attention to myself. So it's not my... Um, I'm not wired that way. And when you, you how you get wired as a child is how... is 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 what goes into place and everything else after that takes a lot, takes work. And so if you're around people or you're around young people, wire them up, wire them up with using oils, with doing self care, with doing massage, just have it. It's part of our culture. Foot rubs, um, oiling uh, is it's part of our household culture. Okay. So Danielle, that's especially, she likes the breathing. Yeah, the, and the toddlers pulling their earlobes. Yep, the toddlers, you'll see them pulling their earlobes. And it's a reset of the nervous system. And Andrea says the colors alone are healing. Absolutely. So that's why my stuff is in clear jars. And I don't keep it out in the sun, but I keep my stuff in clear jars because the colors are healing. When I see these colors, they're healing to me. So... So yeah, I'm gonna be, um, yeah, I've been going live quite a bit with just different things that we can do. And again, I've got, yeah, um, just since, uh, since I started doing massage and making oils in 1986, <laughs> I, I do, I have thousands of hours of slopping this stuff on people's bodies and there's so much we can do. Right, we, we, they're really, so I'm interested, what are you, what are you doing right now to stay grounded? Because it's really what this is all about. There's so many thoughts. There's so much programming. There's so much, you know, it's fear is fine. It's fine to be afraid. Fear activates you. But to stay in fear and to vibrate at fear and chaos, that's, that's, that you stay in a stress state and you don't really, it's hard to stay in touch with your real, your truth and your voice. Um, 
So it really is about being right now about being able to ground, come back to your center and find out what your voice is, find out what's happening for you and your family and what your needs are and to not stay in fear. Um, planting and tending the garden so we can get to the oil. So yeah, so the things that, what is grounding? So Vata is the ungrounding, the air blowing around. So the oil, oiling, that's an antidote to the air. But also like um, Christy is saying, working in the ground, getting your hands in the soil. Gardening is very grounding. Anything you do with your hands. So like you're tinkering in the garage or cooking food, that you know, people do that. The other thing people use is water, taking a bath, right? Getting in the shower. Those are all very, what you want to think about what you do to ground after you go out, after you've had a stressful encounter, after you listen to the news or all the bad news right now, what do you do to process it and come back? You've got to come back, right? So Danielle says, drinking my infusions and exercising. Yes, sweating. Sweating is like, release it, right? Get it out. That's awesome. Okay, so again, some of you will be like, oh, yeah, show me another technique, which I will. I'm going to be, uh, you know, unwinding a lot of my oil techniques coming up. But for some people, this ear oiling, this earlobe oiling and pulling Oh my gosh, it's so, like I said, it can be, uh, so just try it. Try it once or twice a day for like the next seven days and just see if you take five minutes and breathe and close your eyes and just come back to this part of your nervous system, this part of the intelligence of your being. Very simple. It's like coming back to your breath, right? You come back to your breath and you come back to this part of your body where all these nerve endings are. And uh, I look forward to hearing uh, how it works for you. Okay, so that's one little oiling tip. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be all your amazing herbal oils. It can be any oil. All right. Any questions? Any other? Anything else? So, yeah, that's it. Hope you have a good rest of your day and that you find your way to really come back to yourself, come back to your body. And if you have any young ones in your life, wire them up to know how to do it. Okay, take care, everybody.